Global tech outages linked to Microsoft and CrowdStrike causing widespread business disruptions. A growing list of companies reporting software glitches, including banks, airlines and restaurants. Microsoft saying the underlying cause has been fixed, but noting residual impact continued to affect some of the 365 apps and services. The CrowdStrike CEO saying the outage was not the result of a cyber attack. Guy Johnson on top of the story for us in London throughout this morning, going into the morning here in the United States. So, Guy, last time we spoke in the last 60 minutes, it just sounds like we've got a fix and slowly these airlines are getting better work. It'll take them a while, John, and that's the issue that we are now faced with. It'll take quite some time. United Airlines putting a statement out fairly recently within the last few minutes talking about the fact that it is resuming some flights, but it's expecting disruption to continue throughout the day. It's, it's got a waiver in place so that, airline, so that airline passengers can rebook. Delta's working on something similar right now. The longer it continues, though, the longer the disruption will last for. Aircraft will be out of position. Backlogs will increase. Airports will be filling up. Bags will be in the wrong place. Aircraft will be in the wrong place. Crew will be in the wrong place. It takes a long time to fix kind of some of this stuff. And as you say, John, this isn't just a US problem. It's not just a European problem. It's a, not just an Asian problem. This is a global problem. And Danny was talking about the interconnectedness. That is what we are seeing. These are systems that talk to each other around the world, and therefore it takes a long time ultimately to resolve them. In some ways, it is, it is similar to the supply chain story that we've been talking about during the pandemic and the post-pandemic period, and we're still experiencing in some ways during the in the aviation sector, we learned that maybe you can't rely on single source suppliers, that you have to have multiple suppliers, that you can't rely on one system, you have to have multiple systems, and all of that, John, inflationary. And here's just another example of that. Guy, I know you're going to be heading to the Farnborough Air Show next week. I'm really looking forward to that. And you're going to be speaking with a lot of industry leads. Do you expect them to be able to actually put in place any differences to avoid something like this? Again, consider I mean, this is an industry that has had a lot of post-COVID issues and a lot of issues with investing into this exact type of infrastructure. It's about redundancy. It's about making sure that your systems can cope when key parts of it go down. And again, Danny, you were talking about it. The, the, the interconnectedness of all of this is critical. You, you have one single point of failure, and then you start to see a cascading effect working its way through the rest of the system. If you can't check people in, if you can't have their bags checked in, if you can't communicate with pilots when they're sitting there at the gate waiting to push back for their aircraft, all of these things, these single points of failure are so critical. And that's where I think the redundancy story will come in but it's incredibly difficult. This is an industry that's already playing catch-up, significant catch-up in terms of the industry story. And you can see that this morning. Different airlines are being affected with this story in different ways. And that just speaks to the fact that they're not all kind of uniformly upgrading their systems at the same time in the same places, doing the same thing. It's very piecemeal. And that's where ultimately the problem, I think, is going to lie and will continue to lie in terms of the vulnerability of the system that we are seeing demonstrated this morning.